Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Um, what we're gonna do this week is talk about brake lines. I was all excited, got the uh, bus up and running, and uh, took it out for a very short little test drive, just kind of basically around the property, and uh, found a huge leak and not very good stopping power, and uh, found that the rear um, metal brake line had rubbed against its uh, holding bracket uh, to the frame and uh, had basically disintegrated right there. So uh, that's what we're going to tackle this week. Here is the uh, broken brake line. You can see right here is where the bracket just kind of wore away at the uh, at the metal brake line. So. Um, fluid was coming out there. At first I thought it was a transmission seal just because it was leaking onto the transmission and and uh, you know had a similar consistency to uh, warmer gear oil as well as the look but um, found out it was emanating from this. So I ordered a brake line and uh, they sent me this guy. This is Bus Depot that sent me this you know just this brake line here. Uh, they had two lengths, they, uh, so I ordered both and uh, they basically said they were back ordered on one uh, once they had already shipped this. In fact it was in my uh, invoice. They said I was back ordered. So this is the one they, they sent. You can see it doesn't match whatsoever. Uh, I'm gonna let them know about their product description but uh, <laughs> What I'm going to do is uh, use this bender to try and get as close to this as we can, uh, but obviously it's long, so I'm going to have to do some fancy looping or doubling back on itself, something like that. But kind of a bummer, but that's that's what I'm going to do. Got the uh, new line bent um, reasonably close. Um, here's the first bend here. You can see that the uh, uh, the actual connector uh, doesn't overlap with the bend perfectly, but I think that's going to work out to our advantage. Um, so if we line them up how they would sit in the bus, as far as the connector goes. On this side, the way my bend turned out, um, it's actually going to be decently close. So I'm hoping that with enough uh, um, elasticity in this line, will that it'll allow me to uh, get this in and using an extremely long brake line to uh, replace this shorter one. Here we are. We've got the. Uh, brake line here uh, coming from a T uh, just near the nose of the transmission and it goes up and above the transmission and 
and makes its loop. This is the passenger side and connects to the rubber hose. So when I tightened down the uh, the line, the brake line, I uh, used a line wrench. I don't have a metric version, but the 716s worked on this particular brake line. Uh, the reason why you use these is so that uh, you don't have the chance of um, uh, stripping out the um, head on the connector uh, with like a normal wrench might. So it's recommended you use one of these if, if at all possible. But if you're ginger and, and easy with a uh, normal wrench, I've also gotten away with doing that as well. Now that the brake line is replaced, uh, hopefully there aren't other leaks. I inspected all the, uh, the rest. Everything looks pretty good. So uh, we're going to bleed the brakes. Now there are a ton of videos on YouTube as to uh, how to bleed brakes. Um, it'll, they all follow the same rough uh, principles. In the bus, especially this one, uh, front disc brakes, rear um, drum brakes. Uh, the way we're going to do it is do the right front, the left front, then the right rear, then the left rear. Well, it was somewhat awkward to film the uh, bleeding of the brakes. Uh, like I said, there's a ton of videos out there. Um, so I didn't end, it, end up uh, video uh, taping that stuff. Um, so uh, the long and short of it is that uh, that metal line burst. Uh, ordered a new one quite a bit longer but managed to uh, coil it up and uh, fit in there perfectly so everything's bled let's go for a test drive